Prince Harry has spoken out for the first time since news broke of Meghan Markle's pregnancy. The Duke of Sussex thanked the Governor General and Lady Cosgrove at Admiralty House for their hospitality at an afternoon reception, before speaking about Meghan's pregnancy. Good day, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, he began. It is obviously great to be back in Australia and even more so because this is my wife's first visit here, so I am very excited to show her this wonderful country of yours. Australia is of course home to some of the world's best sporting talent, but what you are about to see at these Invictus Games will, quite literally, astound you. During the speech, he spoke of his love for the country, and said he was thrilled he and Meghan got to share their pregnancy news while in Australia. He added, a demonstration of the power of the human spirit, the power of sport to change lives and the power of feeling part of all of this from the stands. There really is something for everyone. Thank you Your Excellency and Lady Cosgrove for giving us your magnificent home for the week. We are inviting all of our mates in Sydney. Finally, we are both absolutely delighted to be here. We are really impressed to see you serving beer and tea at an afternoon reception in true Aussie style. We couldn't think of a better place to announce the upcoming baby. Yesterday, Kensington Palace officially confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex was expecting. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, they shared on Twitter. The news came after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. Previously. New Idea learned that the palace was talking in riddles without stating the obvious before the royal tour to Australia and New Zealand before she was given the three-month all clear. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been tacked for announcing their happy news, on International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry revealed via Kensington Palace this morning they are expecting their first child together in spring 2019. A spokesman said, Their Royal Highnesses are very pleased to announce the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in spring 2019. Their Royal Highnesses very much appreciate all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share their happy news. The Queen Duke of Edinburgh, Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall and Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are delighted for the couple and were able to congratulate them on Friday at the wedding in person. Ms Doria Ragland is very happy about the lovely news and she looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. Meghan is in good health and has had a successful 12-week scan, with news of the pregnancy coming just five months after she married Prince Harry at Windsor Castle on May 19. But hundreds of upset mothers have flooded Twitter to criticize the timing of the announcement, saying it could not have come on a worse day. At Juno 1968 tweeted, A bit insensitive if you ask me. It's baby loss and bereavement day. At Laney Burrow 77 replied, Absolutely. Prince Harry and hashtag Meghan announce excitement at hashtag pregnancy on baby loss and bereavement day. Hashtag Meghan Markle at pregnant. And I thought it was bad enough that they couldn't wait more than three days to knock Eugenie back into place. Hashtag appalling to me. At Mags underscore Griffin added, was just about to tweet the same thing. Of all the days to release the news, very insensitive. At Kensington Royal. At Josh Rippin tweeted, really thoughtful of Harry and Meghan to announce their pregnancy on Baby Loss Awareness Day. Hashtag infertility sucks hashtag baba loss awareness hashtag pregnancy hashtag miscarriage hashtag trauma. But Ruth Bender at Deek, National Director of the Miscarriage Association, which aims to raise awareness around pregnancy loss, defended Meghan and Harry, insisting they were probably unaware of the significance of today. She said, I imagine they didn't know. I think it's as simple as that. For many people who have the deep sadness and grief of losing a baby, there was also that moment of joy when they wanted to announce their pregnancy. I can understand how people feel. It can be deeply hurtful but I have to be sure they had no idea of the significance of the day. Kensington Palace declined to comment. International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day marks Pregnancy Loss and Infant Death, 
including miscarriage, stillbirth, sudden infant death syndrome and any death of a newborn. It is observed each year in the UK, Canada, the US, Norway, Italy and Kenya, as well as the Australian states of Western Australia and New South Wales. Last night, Meghan and Harry arrived in Sydney for the start of their first global royal tour, which will see them take in Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. As well as being International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day, today, October 15, also marks the end of Baby Loss Awareness Week, which began on October 9 and remembers the lives of babies lost in pregnancy or soon after birth. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were caught up in a mid-air scare when their private jet was hit by lightning, it has been reported. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were travelling to an opening party in Amsterdam last month when the luxury Dassault Falcon 7X was reportedly struck. According to the Mail on Sunday, a bolt of lightning struck the nose cone, narrowly avoiding the navigation equipment. Around 30 million volts surged through the plane's fuselage. After the dramatic scare, the plane, which would have set the Duke and Duchess back around £20,000 for a return flight to Amsterdam, managed to land safely at Schiphol Airport. The aircraft was grounded for more than a week as it underwent repairs and safety checks, according to airport sources. It's thought the couple flew from London Oxford Airport, which is just over 10 miles from their Cotswolds home, to attend the three-day, star-studded party in Amsterdam. The celebrations saw the Duke and Duchess of Sussex enjoy a weekend of sightseeing, eating and drinking to celebrate Soho House founder Nick House's 55th birthday and the opening of the latest branch of his exclusive members club chain. They joined celebrities including Jenny Coleman, Michael McIntyre, Eddie Redmayne and Nick Grimshaw for the occasion. During the weekend, Meghan and Harry were also regularly spotted with Marcus Anderson consultant to Soho House and close friends to the former Suits actress. It was well connected, Marcus, 37, who is thought to have been the potential matchmaker between Meghan and Harry, and who regularly organized private rooms for the couple at various Soho House branches when they were dating. A Buckingham Palace spokesman declined to comment. Today. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made an appearance at the Coach Corps Awards at Loughborough University, and on top of looking as great as always, Meghan was sporting something completely new. Her hair, which she usually wears curly or in a bun, was pinned straight, with, it looks like, some V-fresh layers. Take a look. Because I am a journalist and I care about these things, I combed through 60-plus pages of the latest pictures of Meghan and found she hasn't worn her hair like this since at least before her wedding to Prince Harry. This is her usual style. You may be thinking. What's the big deal about this? So the girl changed her hair. But, there's something important to note here. When Kate Middleton announced her third pregnancy, one reporter noticed a very subtle pattern. And the internet latched on, using pictures as evidence. Here's Kate about two months before her most recent pregnancy reveal, looking totally normal. Taking it back a little further, here she was in the summer of 2014 two months before the news of baby Charlotte was announced. Totally normal hair. The signature style. But here's a photo of her just one month before the Charlotte news hit, and media pointed out that she was embracing her roots more than ever. I mean, it's possible she just skipped a colorist appointment and this was totally unintentional, but it could still be part of a pattern. Here's the most compelling evidence of all. One month before the Prince George news, Kate was wearing her perfectly blown out brown curls as per usual. But then, only a week or two before they announced the pregnancy, she shocked the world by getting bangs. Bangs are not subtle. People were so preoccupied that the announcement of Prince George's existence on December 3rd was a slight shock to the masses. Technically this is all just a fun internet theory and no one from the palace has confirmed this in regards to Kate or Meghan. It's possible it's a totally coincidental trend. So, Meghan is not pregnant yet, but the haircut and style change is definitely going to keep the internet busy for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.